Wow. And Republican lawmakers already signaling they will do what they have to to block President Obama's tax hike plan, the same plan the president has been promising for years. Prosperity has never trickled down from the wealthy few. Prosperity has always come from the bottom up. This is redistribution writ very, very large. This is Robin Hood. The money's got to come from somewhere. The White House says he will call for raising taxes on America's rich to offset tax cuts for the middle class. The notion, first of all, that the, in order for some people to do better, someone has to do worse is just not true. We're not just one good tax increase away from prosperity in this nation. Are entrepreneurs going to be better off? Are small businessmen going to be better off with more taxes and more government? No. <laughs> And Representative Marsha Blackburn joins us. Thanks for being with us tonight and going sure. on the record. So your thoughts and predictions, previews for tomorrow night. Well, listening to all of that, you know the president is trying to tune up his version of that old B.J. Thomas, somebody done somebody wrong song. <laughs> and it's always somebody else's fault. Somebody's got to pay. The American people are just not listening to it. They don't agree. Yeah, well, why don't you think it's about time people do stand up and say, listen, we don't want to sit there and send our hard-working, hard-earned dollars to D.C. to be abused and tossed around and not be accounted for? Well, you're exactly right, Kimberly. They don't want to send it to federal agencies that listen in on your phone calls, snoop on your mail, an IRS that is going to exact political retribution on conservative groups. And then they turn around the end of the day. They don't want to pay the military. They just want to pay bureaucrats more. People are tired of it. Government is overtaxed and uh, people are overtaxed government's overspent we do not have a revenue problem you know we brought in the most money ever the most money ever in 2014 three trillion dollars in revenue and what this president does not understand is that you have to make certain you're lowering all of the rates getting more people into the process paying taxes so you increase those revenues and he still doesn't understand the best economic stimulus is a job and that is what people want the focus to be yeah well unfortunately he has a completely different idea of what yes. should happen and did not seems to have a tone deaf ear to the midterm election results and instead it's business as usual and he's going to put forward you know his politics and his policies despite the clear message from the american people you're exactly right, and he is tone deaf. That is precisely what is happening. And they just think they can go ahead and start saying this, throw out all of these grandiose ideas. The American dream is not being dependent on the federal government for your health care, for your automobile, for your college education, for your student loan, on and on and on. The American dream is independence and being able to create that dream for yourself. And they don't want government taking more of their freedom and then having to live the way government prescribes and all of this college education and these other programs I tell you it is not selling well out here with my constituents what would you like to see the Republicans put forward to show that clearly there is a definitive choice that can be made for the economic future of this country there are several things that we can do, precisely cutting discretionary spending. One percent across the board saves us four billion dollars in one year. Say that times ten. Go to five percent. A lot you can do with cutting. Get in here and re reform all of the entitlements, beginning with Medicaid. Stabilize Social Security and Medicare, which are trust funds. And then let's lower the rates, not raise the rates. You know, look at what this does to seniors. When you talk about raising cap gains, taxing investments that seniors have made, building their nest egg so that they can retire, the president does not understand. The federal government cannot get in here and control all of this. It makes things worse it doesn't make things better and what he's going to find is a Congress that is going to say look we are for reducing the size of the federal government mm. taxing people less having government spend less less regulations going, that's right a good formula to remember less regulation plus less taxation plus less litigation always equals more innovation and job creation. That's what the president ought to say tomorrow night. All right, well, let's hope we can get this country back on track and with some strong leadership, like coming from yourself, to help 
Hardworking Americans at Home. Representative, thank you so much. Good to be with you. All right. So